I'm starting my prep vlog for my little week trip to Miami for the 4th with my boyfriend. It's going to be so much fun. I'm letting you guys in on all the deets and everything. This is just going to be like my prep and pack video. I will see like all my maintenance stuff. Packing of course. I'm really excited because I'm going to do my first like YouTube short. And I've really been wanting to do one but I just didn't know like... If I wanted to do like a TikTok mini vlog or like if I wanted to do something else. First of all, I have a band-aid on this nail because it's on the verge of snapping in half. And it's just way too close to my real nail that it's probably going to hurt. If you've ever had nails, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I just have a band-aid on it to kind of like try to reinforce it a little bit because it's like really weak and it's just like really on the brink of cracking. My nail appointment is on Friday. So we're just trying to prevent that. This nail broke literally in the door. My nail got caught in the door and it broke. So I don't know. I'm just really ready to get these off. They're long. They're super outgrown. I really am ready to go back to like a shorter set because this just reminded me of why I don't do the long nail thing anymore. As for prep, I am going to get my hair braided. I'm going to get my nails done and then I'm going to wax and get my feet done and my lashes done too. I'm going to get my lashes done on Tuesday, which is this week, the 27th. I kind of feel like that's too soon. Even though, you know, you gotta let your lashes marinate, you gotta let some of the lashes fall out to see how you really like them. I know that, but I don't know. I feel like the 27th is a little too soon, so I might change that, but that's still up in the air. So yeah, I have that appointment at 11.30 because, like, I just like to get my lashes done early. Honestly, any of my appointments, so I can just get it out the way and have, like, the rest of the day to myself. And then on Friday, I'm getting my nails done. I already have, like, this really cute, colorful design that I'm thinking I'm gonna do. This is the design that I'm thinking about doing. It's, like, a really cute, short, colorful design. I think it's perfect for the trip but y'all know it always changes with me i don't know but for now this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go get my feet done white of course and then i'm gonna wax myself i always wax myself and then i get my hair done on july 1st i always like my hair to be like either the day before i'm leaving two days before i'm leaving so it can be super fresh so i'm just gonna do large knotless because i don't feel like taking out my small braids i can't lie large knotless and i was gonna do blonde but just because the parts are so big i feel like smaller parts would like conceal that my roots are dark and that the braids are blonde that's just not gonna look right with large parts like you're gonna be able to see all of my root color which is gonna be super dark so i'm just gonna do black i know it's a lot of talking i just want to catch you guys up to speed Pretty much all the clothes that I ordered are either coming tomorrow or Tuesday. Today's Sunday, by the way. I was going to include like my hygiene shopping in this video, but I obviously did a separate video. So if you haven't seen that, I have it here in the eye for you guys to check that out. I also want to thank you guys so much for all the feedback on that video. The video is doing so well, so I really appreciate you guys. All the stuff that I'm bringing, I just have it here in this bag. I also got a new SD card in that video, which is for this trip, so that I have, you know, like, more than enough space. I don't have to delete anything off my camera. So I already put that SD card in, so I don't have to worry about it. I do have some previous footage that I recorded, so I'm gonna just throw that in here right now. I went to Ulta and picked up some skincare things that I've been eyeing and then I also connected my air tags to my phone for my luggage. Hey y'all, so I just got back from Ulta. I'm gonna show y'all what I picked up and I'm probably gonna include this in my prep video. So if I end up doing that, hey y'all. Not really for my trip, but something like, these are two things that I just been wanting. First I got the Ordinary Glycolic Acid. I'm gonna put this under my underarms. It helps with like sweating. And some people don't even have to apply deodorant after using this, but it's like over a period of time. So I got this one. This is the, the 240 milliliter one. And so it comes like that, but it also has like a little nozzle that you can put on it. And then I also did the Good Molecules. And I'm sure like this just came to Ulta because they gave me gifts for purchasing this is the rose water daily cleansing gel that they gave me and then they also gave me the brightening toner which i was also contemplating but i'll try it first and see if i like it also got their lightweight daily moisturizer little packet too so i'll test these out and see if i like them a lot of people have like really good things to say about good molecules please excuse my hair y'all i don't even know what's going on honestly and this is what i really really wanted it's a discoloration correcting serum i have some dark marks left over from my little breakout that i was having so i'm just trying to fade those i heard this is really good for hyperpigmentation and dark spots all skin types and it's a serum and then what i just showed y'all is the toner so i really feel like i just need the serum but if i do end up needing the toner then i can pick that up too i'll check back in with y'all later on these like after I've used them for a while to see if I like it or not. My 
camera is literally dying, but I just finished touching up my hair. So I'm about to get in the shower and start getting ready for the pajama party today. But I just want to show y'all these Amazon pickups real quick. So this is what I'm wearing. This cute little set. And then my mom's looks just like this, but hers is pink, so we're matching. And then I have these like little white cream, I guess, slippers to go with it. This is for my hair tag that I unboxed yesterday. And then throw this in my suitcase. Really cute and simple. And then this is for my trip as well. It's just a wind screen so I can put it on top of um my mic <laughs> so that um y'all can't hear the wind when we're like on the beach and stuff. So yeah, I'm about to start getting ready. I'm gonna do my makeup today too. This is what I'm looking like, super cute. I did a little bit of makeup and straightened my hair. My bag is literally packed to the brim. But this is how I'm looking. Thank you, Scentbird, for being the sponsor of today's video. I literally live by Scentbird. I keep a Scentbird perfume with me at all times in my purse. If you don't know what Scentbird is, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to try designer fragrances each month for just $17. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply to try a new fragrance before committing to a full-size bottle. As I said before, designer fragrances can get really pricey. Each of them come in this really cute vial. They come in all different colors, and it just look really, really cute together. This one is Fuchsia. As you can see, we're going with the pink vibes. Each vial does offer a lock and unlock feature, which allows you to lock and unlock your fragrances. This is great for when you're throwing your fragrances in your bag. You don't want to worry about anything spilling. So I absolutely love this feature. You can also take them out. This makes it super convenient to know which fragrance you're using that particular day. Scentbird offers over 600 designer brands to choose from, like Prada, Gucci, Versace, and even indie labels like Skylar and Confessions of a Rebel. Scentbird does offer perfume and colognes, but they also have unisex options. I honestly haven't given you guys a reason to not check out Scentbird, so make sure you guys do so using my link or you can use my QR code which is here on the screen. I also have a coupon code that you guys can use for your first month at Scentbird. So use code NylaNicole55 to get 55% off of your first month at Scentbird. Their service is already $17, so with my code you guys are spending roughly about $8 for designer fragrances. That sounds like a steal to me, so you guys should definitely check them out. I have everything linked in my description box down below as well as in my pinned to comment you guys know i'm a sucker for cute packaging the vial colors that they sent over this month i'm literally obsessing over they're perfect for the summer and i just love all the bright colors as for the fragrances that i chose this month we're gonna start off with the mason 21g ocean odyssey so the notes in this fragrance are pink pepper marine water fruit salty and mineral i would definitely give this to my boyfriend or something this smells really really good it is definitely a very clean smell so this is ocean odyssey by mason 21g this next fragrance is one that i've been eyeing for a while now this is the house of siage haunch bijou y'all this smells so good i would definitely be bringing this with me on my trip okay this smells so so good so the notes in this perfume are grapefruit mango iris heliotrope and amber i love fruity and light floral scents so the mango and grapefruit and the iris is definitely doing it for me i absolutely love this scent so much if you aren't new here you guys know how much i love prada fragrances so this is the prada candy gloss this is a very faint smell. I don't know, I expect it to be like very sweet, but just because it's part of candy gloss. I don't know, I just expected a little bit more of a sweet smell. Kind of has like a powdery sweet smell, but I'm not opposed to it. I actually kind of like it. The notes in this perfume are cherry, black currant, orange flower, and musk. Lastly, I picked up the Furla Romantica perfume. This is another clean scent. The notes in this fragrance are black currant, davana, peony, sandalwood, and patchouli. This is definitely like an earthy clean scent. This isn't something that I would reach for, but I do love clean scents and I do want to start collecting more of those. Thank you so much Scentbird for sending over these fragrances for the month. Don't forget to use my link to check out Scentbird. Also, you guys can use my code NylaNicole55 for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. And don't forget to use my QR code here to scan for direct access to the link as well thank you Scentbird once again for sponsoring today's video and let's go ahead and continue with today's vlog this is what that one looks like it's so cute y'all this is how it looks it's so cute i got a little pink case on it of course i will probably do like an unboxing of whatever clothes come tomorrow i believe pretty little thing essence and amazon stuff is coming tomorrow i got something for the airport from amazon and then i got clothes of course 
um from pretty little thing and then i have a shein package coming as well on tuesday so i'll just see all the clothes throughout this week and then i'll probably do like all my packing at the end i think that's everything you guys are pretty caught up i went ahead and started throwing some stuff in my carry-on so i'll show you guys that as well in the packing portion i'm so so excited i know you guys are enjoying like my longer videos so i'm going to really strive to have like a 45 minute plus video for this vlog also quick little self plug make sure you guys subscribe to my second channel nyla's archive i really want to start being more active over there so let me know what you guys would like to see on my second channel and i will make that happen for you guys it is the next day i am about to show you guys some of the packages that came today this is pretty much everything i just have one more package coming tomorrow from shin with like four things i think but this is the first package from amazon i'm so excited Oh, and y'all this is so freaking cute what i got these like aura airpod max covers for like my little headphones so i'm gonna put these on i want to actually take a picture because the packaging is so cute i don't know about y'all but them rubbing together it literally makes my skin crawl like i hate it so much so yeah i'm excited to have something to cover it and prevent that noise like this i hate it I'm going to go with my airport outfit that I'm about to show y'all in a second. So, so cute. I got these from Amazon, but they do obviously have them on the Wildflower website, but I wanted Amazon shipping, so real cute. Then from Essence, I got this KCB shirt, and I'll open that in a second. This is also from Amazon. It's like some shapewear, like, panties. They just, like, keep you snatched, like, underneath your dress, so I'm bringing this gold dress if you watch like my um what was it my summer haul you probably know what gold dress i'm talking about but you know i just want everything to be smooth and so i have these this is the brand if you guys are wondering and i do have an amazon storefront so i will have anything that i've gotten on amazon in there or it might already be in there like my travel stuff these um headphone case covers are already in there my air tag case is already in there too and this is the next package from pretty little thing and i'm actually expecting one more but got a ton of stuff from pretty little thing like all right y'all see literally sent me this tiny little package to send me the bottom to my bikini I guess they were shipped in different warehouses, but that's all that's in here. Starting with the shirt, I just wanted to get that picture before I opened it. I just have this Keisubi shirt. I thought this was really cute. I have a whole like outfit plan for this, obviously, but this is what it looks like. It's just like a ringer tee, kind of like what I have on right now. So it just says Keisubi on it. It's cream and this like emerald green color. And so it has the little logo here on the back. This is my first Keisubi purchase. I was gonna get like some shorts or a skirt on Depop. I don't think it's worth it because I already have an outfit. I got this like cargo maxi like army skirt coming from Shein that y'all will see tomorrow to go with this as well as like a purse. Starting off with my pretty little thing. I'm gonna start with this dress. This is the black sheer lace tie strap lace up detail body con dress in a size four. It's a UK four. And this is so cute for like um, a dinner outfit so that's what I got this for and this is what the top looks like and then it does come with like a panty inside and tie the arms and then the back is cut out a little bit and then this is the bottom so this is super cute it does have like a little slit in the middle I have this two piece and um, pink and orange and brown like printed skirt and then I got the matching corset to go with it so this is what the corset looks like it just has like that dip in the front like corsets usually do um these are the straps they aren't adjustable which i wish they were but hopefully these look right and then also a zipper in the back it's very sturdy um i'm glad it was denim because any other material would have just looked really cheap so this is going to be super cute these are going to look really cute i know they look super tiny but because they're tight they're going to be really really cute so these are the bottoms color seems to be a little off i don't know but this is the top and i have to look on the website to remember how this goes i think yeah this goes around your neck and then you just tie it in the back so it just looks like this this is the last set and then everything else is just bikinis it's the airport fit on the website it definitely looked like these were the same kind of blue i mean it's close enough but 
It definitely looked a lot brighter on the website. So I just got these lounge shorts. They say pretty little thing. And, and it has like a little logo right here. It has drawstrings. I got this in an extra small. And then I got the matching sweatshirt to go with it. It's folded nicely, so I don't really want to unfold it, but it looks just like the logo on the shorts. It's my airport outfit with my little headphones and it's gonna be real cute. And I'm just gonna wear some Yeezys with this. Like I said, everything else is a bikini and I have a whole bunch of bikinis that I haven't worn. So I'm gonna bring those with me. This is really, really cute. It reminded me of like a Poochie bikini. And so I have like um, a Poochie scarf and a pair of slippers so i'm going to wear those pieces with this i planned out all my outfits on canva as always so this is what that set looks like it's really colorful i thought it gave miami super cute this next one i got because i love this blue color if it weren't for those micronose skins that i got i would never be obsessed with this color like i am but i'm glad that i am obsessed with something other than pink because everything would be pink if you weren't for this new blue I'm obsessed with. So I've always wanted one of these ruffly like bikini bottoms or just bikini sets in general. I love this blue. It's going to be super pretty on my skin. It just looks like this. And then this last outfit is for the fourth. I just picked up a cute little like set that I can wear on the beach, on the boardwalk. So it's this blue like zebra print. Um, kind of bikini printed bikinis are up and so this is what the bikini looks like and then I bought the skirt as well on um, beach maxi skirt and I think this is so cute it's a good length what well, looks like it's a good length for me because I'm short but yeah it does have like a fishtail like kind of um cut to it like I said tomorrow I have one more package coming so I will be in the same spot letting y'all know what's going on with that and I'll also update y'all if I end up going to my last appointment tomorrow or if I end up rescheduling uh, I know it's been too long I've been on the road too appointment obviously i did just like these wispy kind of like a volume wispy set it is now like two something and so i had a call scheduled today for two but i told them i wanted to push it back to three because i literally just got home i had chick-fil-a for lunch i guess and i'm gonna do trader joe's for dinner so i'm gonna go there later with my boyfriend this is my shein package that i said i was gonna show on first thing that i got this is cute hat. It's green, white, pink, and gray. It's like this crochet little bucket hat, and it's super cute. I definitely don't have it on, like, all the way, but it's going to be really cute with my braids. Oh, this came with a little dust bag. Okay. So I got this cute little green bag. I thought it looked like, like a Bottega bag, so it's like a bucket-shaped kind of purse. It's like a crossbody. I thought this was cute. I don't have anything like this. I really like the shape of it, and yeah, the quality is really nice. It's so cute. A little maxi cargo skirt and it's army print obviously it has a slit in the front so like you button it like this I don't know if y'all can really see that and like this is a slit so it's a long maxi skirt and it's really really cute so I'm gonna try this skirt on to make sure it fits but right now I'm in the middle of doing some laundry all of my laundry last night and this morning I'm gonna pick back up on that and then I'm going to join my meeting at 3 I started packing yesterday so I obviously have to take everything out so I can do my packing video and also the portion to show y'all everything that I did pack it's gonna be a little tedious and annoying since everything is literally already packed but I think it would be good to like go back and double check, triple check to make sure that I have everything. So I'm not tripping about it too, too much. Like I said, I have one more package from Pretty Little Thing and it's literally still processing. It was supposed to come today, I think. No, it's supposed to come tomorrow. So I don't know. That's not really looking like it's going to happen because it's literally processing. It hasn't even been shipped yet. I'm still waiting on that. There's really nothing in there that I really wanted to wear for the trip, but there was just like extra stuff that I wanted to bring like just in case. So that's annoying, but... It is what it is. Whew. 
Hi guys, it is the next day. I'm gonna go to Kohl's to drop off some like Amazon returns. But I really came up here to tell you guys that my order that I said was coming isn't coming anymore because it got canceled. So I had to like email a pretty little thing and like get that whole thing situated. So I didn't really need any, any of those clothes. They were like just in case outfit. So I wasn't really tripping about it, but I don't know, I was kind of sad because I did have like this cute dress that I did kind of want for the trip, but it's okay. I'm just going to have to find something else to replace that dress and my other dress because I'm selling that dress too because that dress doesn't even fit. It looks I look like crazy. This is so crazy. Look at this. Pretty little thing. This is pretty much what my suitcase is looking like. I have like all my packing cubes in here, but like I said, I'm gonna have to take all of this stuff out. I have bikinis in here, undergarments, my skims towel, I have some sunglasses, and then everything else is pretty much all of my like clothes and outfits. I'm sorry if my hands are ashy, y'all. Over here, I have some more shoes, some spray on sunscreen, I have a little makeup headband, and then my makeup. And then in here, I have all of my toiletries just like in this little bag. I don't know what came in that bag, but I just decided to put all my perfume, body lotion, body mist, perfumes, more sunscreen, all that type of stuff is in there. This has my hair stuff in it, so I just have my mini flat iron for my edges, edge control, an edge brush, and some mousse. And then I have more shoes in here. I have some flip-flops, some dunks, some Yeezy slides. This is more makeup stuff. This is going to just be my skincare in the beauty one. I just have hair ties in the etc. And underneath my toiletries, I just have two big laundry pouches. I know I'm using my laundry pouches as bags, but I just don't really plan on putting any laundry dirty laundry in those so I have the large ones that are like as big as these for dirty laundry then I just have my bonnet which I'm gonna put in my hair bag as well I'm gonna head and threw my body in there so this is pretty much what this side is looking like and then this side like I said I'm just gonna go ahead and stick these socks in here So I just got my car detailed. It's so clean. I love when my car gets detailed. I love when it smells like brand new and it just looks so super clean. So that's out of the way. And then now um, when I get home, I'm going to take this wig off and wash my hair. So you guys will see that in a second because I'm so ready to just wash my scalp. Like, honestly. Hey guys, good morning. So it's 11 o'clock. I got my lash appointment like in an hour. So I'm about to get ready for that. Honestly, ignore my dog in the background. I'm so sick of wasting my time and having to stop talking because the dogs are barking in the back. Like, I just, we're not doing it. Kill sent me the cutest little bag. Sent over two products. And they sent me this too. I've been using it. I absolutely love this. I know this is like one of their most popular products. It's their Ultra Facial Cream. And this is so good. It really reminds me of the CeraVe, like the consistency. It doesn't make my skin like greasy. It doesn't clog my pores, which is why I think I broke out. It was either that or like hormonal, like acne. I don't know. I'm burning up. I don't know why I'm so hot, y'all. I had like an itchy nose yesterday. Like I'm just praying like, oh my gosh, please. Like, no. Like, this is just not the time, okay? Like, I don't need to be coming down with nothing. Like, this is just not the time. We can hold out for a couple days. I'm ready to really get this nail situated because I'm so sick of having to tiptoe around it. I've been having to wrap it up, wear a glove in the shower. Like, it's just been too much. I'm about to do skincare, but I did want to show y'all what Kill sent me. So, they sent over this cream de corpse. This is an all body moisturizer. So, I'm going to bring this on my trip. It doesn't really smell like anything. I need to hurry up and get ready, like really. And I'm so hungry, but I don't think I'm gonna have time to get food because I have to go to the ATM to get the money to pay for my nails. And I might as well get the money for my hair for tomorrow too while I'm already there. Whew. I get my hair done at 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So when I come back, I'm going to wash my hair. I was gonna wash it yesterday. I think I told y'all that, but I ended up not washing it because this nail is broken. So I'm gonna just wash my hair when I come back. And then they also sent over the Frillic Brew Rejuvenating facial essence i think this is like a serum or like an oil but the packaging is so freaking cute look at how nice this bottle looks okay come on now like kills really eight as for my skincare though y'all have already seen it in this video and i did post it on my main instagram i think and it's also linked in my storefront but i've been using the Marad 
acne control um clarifying cleanser this has salicylic acid in it so this has really been helping me like with the breakout i was having you have to keep using this consistently for it to work like anything but it will get worse before it gets better with this i had the little sample size of that good molecules like, i think it's the discoloration serum or no the discoloration toner but i ran out of the little sample that they got me i don't know if i like it or not because it was literally like a sample i used it for two days but i think i'm gonna try this on my skin today this is the ordinary what i call like acid toning solution it's supposed to use it at night so i might use this tonight but i've been using it under my arms on tuesdays and saturdays so i'll use this tomorrow after my cleanser i go in with the serum so this is the good molecules discoloration correcting serum i really like it so far so i have that then i'll go in with my cerave the kills little cream this is the super goop dupe by elf skin and this is the sun touchable well glow and this is spf 30 and i used this yesterday and i liked it um it doesn't make me look greasy but it is it is still hydrating so i'm gonna do my skincare real quick and put me on something to wear so i can go ahead and head to my nail appointment okay so i've decided i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this little white bodysuit that i got from shein and just like throw something on honestly i just took out my other battery that i was charging all last night so that i have you know like more than enough because my camera always dies when i get my nails done so i'm prepared this time i got a fully charged battery in case it decides to dial me like it always does so i'm gonna throw this on maybe like with some jeans and sandals or something more chill i might do sweats but we'll see to my appointment so i'm gonna do this little lip mask from laneige this is the chocolate one let's sink in this bodysuit is shein and then my cargos these are from pretty little thing no these are from princess polly i just have on my boston clogs and then i wrapped my mini dionis to make it like double strap like a little shoulder bag I also spraying my house of siage perfume from scentbird and yeah I got some emails to reply to and I'll be en route to my nail appointment very soon. So as you guys know, I went and got my nails done. They are so freaking cute. I just did all like bright colors, dry acrylic powders. We did like white abstract lines. And so instead of the dot on the design, we just did like these iridescent color rhinestones. And I'm, my skin is still dry. I always get like really dry skin after getting my nails done. But yeah, they're really cute. I'm about to take these braids out that I've had for months. And I'll probably take a nap after that and then get dinner later. Yeah, those are the plans for today. Tomorrow I'll get my hair done, which is why I need to wash my hair today or tonight, but.
don't want you on my mind Why not? Would I leave? If you were everything I wanted you to be When I saw what you did, who you were with Got me questioning the things that I believe Okay, so I just took out all of my braids, I think. I need to go back in and make sure that they're taken all the way out because sometimes I like not take it out all the way. My hair definitely grew and I'm trying to grow my hair back to its regular length. It's time for me to lay it down, okay? I got butt length large knotless braids and they are so cute. I did flip it over to make it like a side part. This is like what the back of the hair looks like. This is like the perfect length, honestly. Perfect size. I love the parting. It just looks really cute, really good. This is what I'm looking like. I'm about to go get dinner with my boyfriend and that way we can eat together and then we'll be together. Um, to go to the airport it's raining and i'm already tired so that's killing my vibe but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video of me prepping for my trip yeah it's just been a hectic week of packing prepping and all of that you guys already know what the next video will be so stay tuned for that and yeah once again thank you scentbird for sponsoring this video thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in my part two to this miami like mini series bye y'all